University of Wyoming graduate student Scott Becker is unraveling a moose mystery in northwestern Wyoming. The northern Jackson moose herd lives in Grand Teton National Park and the Teton Wilderness, one of the most remote areas in the lower 48 states. Becker began studying the herd three years ago in response to concerns about moose numbers. Annual population counts indicate this herd, like others in the state, has been declining for more than a decade. She's not too far away from us. Should be right up in there. For Becker, getting answers to questions about moose survival means looking at pregnancy and birth rates. And that means getting his hands dirty. In the spring, he checks in on female moose captured during the winter and outfitted with radio tracking collars. Blood tests showed the females were pregnant at the time of capture. Now he collects their droppings to see if they're still pregnant. She actually is pregnant. And what we're collecting the fecal samples for is to test for fecal progesterone, the pregnancy hormone. And we can test the level of that to see if she's still pregnant right now. In order to ensure a sample comes from the right moose, Becker has to actually watch the study animal do the deed. Although the moose has left a deposit, Becker waits to collect until her calf, born last year, wakes up and moves away from the site. Competing theories have emerged about why this moose herd might be declining. Some blame carnivores. The grizzly bear population is rebounding and wolves have been reintroduced in nearby Yellowstone National Park. Others point to a lack of quality habitat, since a related study showed some moose were malnourished. Becker's study includes the use of GPS collars to see how moose use their habitat. He hopes to find out whether ecological changes might be a factor, such as the 1988 Yellowstone fires that burned summer ranges used by moose. So far, initial results have been surprising. Survival rates are so high, Becker says the herd appears able to sustain current mortality rates, no matter whether predators or habitat is to blame. Based on everything that we've found thus far, it appears that the moose population in this area may be stabilizing or possibly increasing right now. Even so, further analysis and population modeling will be required to chart the future of this herd. On this day, Becker is just happy to collect one more piece to the puzzle. These are what we've been after the last two days. <laughs> it's like winning the lottery. For Assignment Earth, I'm Gary Stryker.